Hello there, this is Sandancer80 with another model truck review. And this one we have another Eddie Stobart model. It's made by Oxford Diecast. They are coming out from Atlas Editions, but you can also buy them off the Stobart shop or eBay if you're prepared to pay for it, that is. And from Oxford Diecast, they come in a plain white box, but we also have the plinth on which they come from, and this is it. It's a Scania R440 Highline with a skeletal trailer and container. Its name of the cab is Olive Sinclair, and its fleet number is H6443. Now, on this model, the container just comes off, just like that. We, we, we also have as you may have noticed, sorry, I'll move out the way. As you may have noticed, there are also two wheels which should be like these, but on the front of this trailer. But I've removed them because it doesn't represent the, the trailer that they pull. It's easy to do, you've only got a couple of screw holes on the bottom. Just remove the two front wheels and the, and the wheel arches. I think it looks much better. I've kept the wheels obviously, but it looks better as that rather than having the the two extra wheels there. So we'll have a look at the unit first. Which as I said before is a Scania Highline. It's an R440 in the new Livery with the Stobart Group. I think that's the old website, though. I don't know. Um, the new livery with the the S, the new Stobart S's livery. And we have there. I don't know if it, it'll pick it up. The name and the fleet number. Well, it's down there anyway. Olive Sinclair. H6443 and we have detail of the steps either side of the front wheel arch as you can see six wheel tractor unit and stalwart written on the top of the cab with the sunroof and there's the name there Olive Sinclair with the Scania R440 sign down there detail of the windscreen wipers with the air intakes either side the chevrons at the bottom of the cab and the registration is P012 ZNA I think we have the lights and the indicators on the side there the other side same as the other we have Stobart Group written at the top in the new livery with the name and the fleet number set the steps on the driver side and We'll have a look at the back. See on the back of the cab, but we have the registration with the lights. That's it. P zero twelve ZNF. Now the trailer. As I said before, I removed the wheels just because it looks better. This was designed as you had. This could be separated, so that could be connected to the cab. So you could have just like a little 20, 20 foot trail, uh, twenty foot container on. Or once you'd have connected it to this, you could have two 20 foot containers or a 40 or a 45, whatever they are. But like I see I removed the, the wheels because it looks better. It's as simple as that. So we would have had two wheels here with the arches. Then we have three axles there, 
and on the back of this one we have the registration again and as you say it is a combi trailer that's what it's called with various markings it's a DTEC combi trailer and on the top of the trailer we have these little things what stick up they're the ones what go into the bottom of the container to keep it on you have basically six at the front and six there uh, four at the back I think so you can put no oh, sorry might be four at the front and four at the back for your containers anyway we'll get onto the container which is an oxford die cast one which is plastic and nothing opens but I'll show you the rear of the container first various various numbers on there with the store bought rail at the bottom and possibly the container number at the bottom 288 but it is nice detail of all the, the locks etc on the container stick out quite well now we have on the right hand side less CO2 reel on the top we have store bought reel and these holes are for them cone them breech stacker things so it can lift the container up so to speak but it has store bought 88 on the front air uh, top the front of the container has store bought rail with 288 on the bottom and I don't know what all this is but Somebody will know anyway. The other side just says less CO2 real again. But that's how it all goes. We'll right, we'll connect it all up again. We have the unit, the trailer, and the container, which takes some fiddling about. That's probably is not on correct, but I'll just leave it like that to have one final view. And I have a couple more Eddie Stowbot models to review. I have a load of Corgi models as well. I'll just quickly show you. Actually, I've only done about 15 reviews up to now, and I have loads of Stowbot models to do all Oxford diecast ones and on the other side I have a load of Corgi models there's a full glass cabinet over there anyway thanks for watching and please subscribe